fellow skaters. No. Hi fellow skaters, this is Max. Uh, welcome to the Romantic Skate Workshop. I'm doing this video in English because, so, because most of my viewers are native English speakers and this video is going to draw a lot of fire and hate. And today I'm going to review the uh, speed fire formula for 93 8 mm soft sliders. I had three of them and I test run in that. I'm going to focus on two things. And the first is uh, is it soft sliders good? And the second one is it the dragon killer everybody's looking for? Hmm. I'm kind of surprised when uh, Spitfire roll out the uh, 93A soft sliders. To me, Spitfire is all about hard wheels, uh, 99A through or above. This company is focused on uh, park wheels, transitions, uh, pool wheels, and I, I, I have I have a Spitfire pool wheels, <laughs> and they are doing a great job. Uh, the Formula 4 is highly recommended by skaters all around the world. So uh, in summer 2022, uh, Power Parata threw out the Dragon formula and it, sh and it shocked the entire skate industry. And this spring, uh, Spitfire rolls out its 93A uh, soft sliders. I think it's more like a response to the Dragon formula because uh, the drag <laughs> because the Power Parata Dragon is eating up a lot of market which was solely held by Spitfire and so they are going to come up with something to fight against it So is the soft sliders good? Um, I think it heavily depends on your standpoint If you are in North America, uh, you have plenty of skate parks, uh, transitions, uh, very good roads The soft sliders is good because uh, it was based on Formula 4 and it rolls fast, it breaks traction easy, and it slides. And it is quite durable, uh, it lasts forever. So, having a softer durometer wheel opens up a lot of grounds for you, which uh, some skateboards were too rough for hard wheels, and now you have a softer wheel for that. However, I am not in North America. I am I'm from Hong Kong. Yes. Yeah, Hong Kong, China. <laughs> yes, uh, Hong Kong has been part of China for 27 years. And at the other side of the world, our role is different. And uh, what you what you guys consider rough skate spots or rough grounds, uh, those are actually smooth grounds here. <laughs> and we have much rougher grounds and uh, much less skate parks so is soft sliders good enough for Hong Kong? I will say yes it can handle the rolls of Hong Kong and it rolls pretty good direct comparison uh, 54mm Reynolds and 54mm uh, Dragons and I prefer the Reynolds because uh, it rolls in a faster speed so uh, it handles the, handle the roll better the dragons are okay, but that was before comparison. After you, you compare these two, I think uh, the Reynolds rolls faster than the dragons and it handles the roll better. However, for the 56mm and the 58mm I got, uh, the radios, they did not live up to my expectations. If I had not bought uh, the 58mm Dragon Wheel, I would say, yeah, those Spitfires are great, but I compare them directly and I can see that the 58mm Dragons perform better. Uh -huh. Part of the reason is due to its formula. The F4 soft slider formula is great for smooth grounds but not as good as the Dragons when it comes to the very rough grounds. Especially the 58mm, it aids up, it aids up a lot of acceleration uh, when it comes to certain speed. It rolls to a certain speed and then it holds there. It won't go fast while the, while the Dragons keep going. Uh, and the second thing is the wheel geometry. Both of them are in 58mm in diameter. They are rift 
is different. Also, uh, their contact patch is different. The Spitfire radios have a considerably larger contact patch. So it aids up a lot of acceleration. It has more friction between the wheel and the road. You know, the physics, uh, when one, when two objects contact each other, as their contact area increase, the friction increases also. So with wider contact patch, it, it creates much more friction. Uh, between the wheel and the road and it's just slow it down and it heats up the wheel uh, after skating for a session I touched the wheel and I feel hot and it didn't happen to the dragons but I actually did some uh, test videos and you can see uh, even their the same diameter their rolling speed is quite different so my ultimate question here can it kill the dragon? Uh, I don't think so because the road condition of Hong Kong is much rougher than North America and the soft slider formula does not handle that as well as the dragons so no, it cannot kill the dragon here and moreover, the real geometry of the 58mm got its internal problem and more than that, uh, power roll that dragons more than a year earlier than the speed tries. so nowadays they have a lot of different size and shapes uh, 50, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 58, 60, 64 and they are in different shapes uh, such as uh, also the uh, Andy Anderson Nano Cubic uh, they got they got 93A diameter, also the 97 diameter, and they are rolling out new shape also. The, the, the nano rats, if I didn't mistake them for something else. As I'm a long border, also I put the, I can put the night, I can put the 64 millimeter dragons on my long board. But the speedfast soft sliders just shine in size. Uh, as I said before, the dragons roll out more than a year earlier, and they have the advantage in marketing. I bought seven sets of Power Parata Dragon wheels in the past which is in different size, shapes and diameter. So compared to the Dragon's Spitfire soft sliders are outnumbered, uh, outrolled, outshaped. <laughs> is that English? Yeah? So in conclusion, uh, I would say the Spitfire 93 a diameter soft slider is good enough for traditional skaters uh, who skate mostly in parks, transitions, pools, and uh, some street, some smooth street spots. However, it's not sufficient for skaters in Hong Kong because we ride much rougher roads and uh, our parks is. Is poorly designed and in bad shapes here. I believe the dragons can handle the situation here better than the Spitfire soft sliders. For hardcore Spitfire fans, uh, yeah, go ahead. These wheels are great because it, it will fit your skating habits very well. But for me, uh, who skate uh, most other genres, uh, longboards, downhills, cruisers, dancing. The soft sliders did not perform as well as the dragons in here. And you needless to say, there's a serious design problem in this 58mm radios. Mm. Makes me wonder, did they ever put it to the test? Mm. So I'm going to keep my dragons for now. Actually, I am going to make another video to discuss about the uh, soft wheels and uh, their problems. Dragons did have their own design problems. Phil talked about them because uh, because it was the only soft wheel that slides on the market, so there was no comparison. And now it got more competitors. I'm going to talk about their design problem uh, in the next video. Okay. All right, that's all for my review. If you did, if you did not try the dragons before, or you are a Spitfire hardcore fans or you just got plenty of money and want to try everything yeah go ahead and buy those they may not be the best wheel in the market but they are good enough for most persons i would say all right that's all for this video i'm going to see you next time